mm, 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 mm. Why does my brain not work when I need it to? Um. Hi, welcome to MJB Seminars, where you liberate, empower, and inspire yourself to be the greatest example of your creation. Now, I remember just recalling a couple of uh, years ago, I remember listening to uh, Anthony Hopkins being interviewed, and he was asked what his greatest fear was, and it's a funny thing, he said, my greatest fear is being found out by anybody that I'm a fraud, and he said, well, what do you mean by that? And he said, well, in actual fact that I'm not a very good actor at all. And I think in some way, we all have that part of us that, you know, has that little fraud hidden inside of us. I know um, a, a lot of people come up to me all the time and say to me, man, you must do an awful lot of PD work. And the truth about it is, guys, is that my, my field of expertise is in human development and personal development. And um, there is no degrees for human development. There is no degrees for personal development. And um, there's coaching things that you can do and that sort of stuff. But I'm really, really self-thought. So people say to me, man, you must, you must practice it all the time. And in actual fact, you know, I probably, you know, on the way to work, I have about a 40 minute drive here. I'm always listening to CDs. I'm always listening to information for sure. And on the way home also. Um, but I practice basically, I, I specifically practice certain things for about 10 minutes a day. And then the rest of the time is when I'm driving. And then once a week, I do something really, really intense uh, to make sure that I'm, I'm continuing to grow and evolve. I, so how much PD work should you actually do? Well, the first thing you got to understand is that it's about making it regular. It's about making sure that it's continuous. Um, I have basically five rules that I follow when I'm doing my own PD work. The first one that I say to people is, is that you've got to make sure that it's simple. The reason you have to make sure that it's simple, that it's understandable, relatable, it's not too confusing. Um, human beings have a dreadful hand a tendency towards complexity. They have this tendency to want to make things way, way, way more complex than they actually have to be. In actual fact, just keep it really, really simple. And the reason you would keep, keep it simple is because if you do make it complicated, you're not going to do it. The next one is, is that you've got to make sure that it's quality, not quantity, quality, that the information that you're reading or the information you're researching or whatever it is that you're doing is of service to you and you feel inspired at the end of it. You feel like you've been enriched and you feel really grateful that you've taken or got that actual piece of information. The next one is, is that you've got to make it regular. What I mean by that is, is that if you say to yourself, you know, I'm going to practice this, you know, every single day um, and you feel after the third day that it's doing your head in, well then you shouldn't be doing it every day. If you say to yourself, okay, how would I feel about doing something at least once a week? And that feels more comfortable for you, or even once a fortnight, and that meal feels more comfortable for you. Well, whatever makes you comfortable is what's important. And you might feel, okay, after about a month or two that you'll be able to you know, increase it to maybe instead of once a fortnight, now once a week. You always wanna be pushing yourself in some way. It's a bit like going to the gym and doing the same reps or the same exercise or lifting the same weights like I do, lifting the same weights um, over and over and over again, your body is not going to grow. You always have to be increasing things by about 10%. So again, make sure you keep it regular and make sure that it's not doing your head in. The next one is, is having an accountability partner. Now, this is really important. In, For example, in our organization here, everybody keeps each other accountable. Um, we make sure that we have, you know, we all practice our PD work at, for at least 10 minutes a day and we all do at least one equilibration a day or one equilibration a week. Um, and so what what happens is that every time we do our 10 minutes uh, meditation um, or our focusing practices, we basically text each other to let each other know that we have actually uh, fulfilled uh, our agreement. So having an accountability partner is really, really cool. It also gives you the opportunity to share what's happening for you, to talk about how you're growing and evolving, and to talk about how things are actually coming together for you. And having an accountability partner allows you to bounce off each other and really reflect back your success. The final one is, is that you have to make sure that what you're doing is in a accordance with your value systems. You don't want to be practicing something once a day or once a week that's not going to serve your value systems because otherwise it's, you're just going to feel and you'll, you know, you'll beat yourself up as if you're doing something that's not actually nurturing you or nourishing you. So it's important to understand, like we show you guys in letting it go, understand what your top three values are and make sure that whatever you're practicing uh, in terms of your human development or your personal development is honoring or allowing you to effectively achieve what is high on your value systems. Remember guys, the way I see it, it's each to their own. It's just about making sure that in some way you're creating a habit and you're nurturing yourself by doing your human development work, by developing your mind, developing your heart, and developing your skills to operate within the world. Now, I would really, really love you to share this with one of your buddies or tweet it, what that really, really helps us to reach other people. And we know that lots of you guys do that and we're deeply, deeply appreciative of that. In the comment section, here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to help me. I want you to tell me how you can assist me or what tips you could give me 
to make sure that I'm actually continuing to build a habit of working on myself. So just tell me or share with me what it is that you do, some little tricks or tips that you do to make sure that you stay on track. Remember guys, love is all there is, love is the only way. Take care, live life inspired. So I don't know how to start it. What's his name from the Silence of the Lambs? Hello, Clarice. Okay, I, I think, yeah, okay, I got something. I think we should probably start with him. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I am as dumb as a bag of rocks. <laughs> um.